I want to move across the channel to France. Protests erupting over increased taxes on fuel. Now, what do these protests say about the popularity of Macron's presidency? Uh, well, I think, you know, Emmanuel Macron's uh, presidency has been uh, nothing short of uh, disastrous, really. He has an opinion poll, uh, poll rating uh, at around sort of 21 percentage points, which is not exactly a vote of confidence from the French people. I think that Emmanuel Macron is seen as deeply out of touch, as arrogant, as someone who doesn't understand the concerns of ordinary uh, French uh, voters. Um, he's, a, he's a politician, I think, who is full of sort of, you know, grand visionary uh, ideas, but cannot understand you know, why his own voters uh, don't, um, you know, don't support him anymore. And this latest uh, fuel tax, which hits, uh, you know, tens of millions of French uh, drivers is deeply unpopular. That's fueling the, uh, the protests. But Emmanuel Macron, I, I think, is somebody who really lives in a sort of another, you know, political dimension, who dreams of creating a grand European Union army while his, own, uh, while his own people are out on the streets protesting against his, uh, his leadership. So I think there's a lot of delusional thinking, actually, in the Elysee Palace uh, these days under Emmanuel Macron. Now, this is a conversation I had over the weekend with someone that the socialists, the kind of newborn American socialists that we hear, all, we hear from quite often, they kind of preach that if we just tax the 1% more, we can pay for all of these lovely things that Americans need. But that is not what goes on in other nations, say, across Europe. The, the people of these nations, and I look at France, are taxed to their teeth in the form of gas taxes, value-added taxes. It's not just the 1% that's paying for everything. And in fact, in this country, if you confiscated every single dollar that the top 1% um, earn an adjusted gross income, it wouldn't be enough money to pay for Medicare for all. It would be $2 trillion versus yes. $3.2 trillion. You would have to confiscate every dollar of adjusted gross income from the top 5%, and that would only pay for Medicare for all. And that this, these protests kind of speak to that. Yeah, I think, you know, French people have had enough of, uh, you know, huge state uh, taxes uh, and you know, France has been basically a sort of a, a big government sort of economic, uh, you know, basket case uh, for successive uh, decades, thanks to, you know, big government uh, high tax policies. And, you know, hundreds of thousands of French citizens have fled to, uh, to London over the past uh, decade, seeking uh, jobs and opportunities and lower taxes, actually. And uh, so you've got economic refugees leaving France, heading to, especially to the UK, where there's a lower tax regime and more free market policies. And basically, I think increasingly Europeans are rejecting socialist style uh, government. And at the end of the day, Emmanuel Macron is, is a big government uh, thinker. He, he talks about, uh, you know, free trade. He talks about free markets. But in reality, uh, you know, France remains wedded to very high levels of, of taxation. It has high levels of unemployment. Uh, Emmanuel Macron is uh, at heart a protectionist. He's someone who calls Brexit a, a crime. You know, this, this is a leader who uh, I think is just deeply out of touch with, uh, you know, his own you know, his own uh, people, and, and I think it's a reflection of the huge economic problems that you see across the big government, high-tax European Union today. James, real quick. Yeah, he, uh, obviously, Macron came into office promising the opposite, a more dynamic economy, yeah. uh, a more open economy yeah. in France. I guess that hasn't happened exactly. That, that, is not, that is not materialized at all. In fact, I think, you know, Emmanuel Macron's big priority right now is the creation of some sort of grand European Union uh, superstate. So he is the leader of the, the Euro Federalists uh, in Europe, and his latest plan courses to build a, a European Union army, which he calls, uh, calls for to challenge the United States. Uh, and so this is the mindset of the, of the French president right now, completely delusional and uh, uh, out of touch with reality altogether. And so um, it's, it's hard to see how Emmanuel Macron is going to be re-elected in 2022 at this rate. What are they going to be using baguettes as spears and the power of taxation to frighten everyone? <laughs> Sorry, no, I couldn't resist. Thank you so much, sir. Could be. Great to see you, Nile Gardner. <laughs> Thank Coming you very much.